Good morning children. Today we are going to learn about addition. Let me ask you a question. Which is your most memorable day in your life? For sure it is your birthday, right? Because you will be more excited to invite your friends for the birthday party as well as you will be delighted to receive gifts from your parents and friends. Yes? And here we have Peppa and George celebrating the birthday on the same day. The mommy pig and daddy pig have planned for a grand birthday party. So, Peppa have invited 10 of his friends and George too have invited 10 of his friends. Now tell me, how many friends would have attended the party? Yes, you are right. 20 friends would have attended the party. How did you give me the answer? You gave me the answer by counting the number of friends from Peppa's side as well as from George's side. So here we are doing addition. So always remember children, addition plays a major role in our day to day life. Keeping this in mind, before going on to today's topic, let's recall the concept that we have learnt in previous class. We have learnt about adding bigger numbers. Let's see an example. We are going to add 5854 with 2144. First we need to place the numbers in the place value chart and we are going to begin with counting the number of digits in the ones place we have 4 and 4. So we need to add 4 plus 4 gives you 8. Now moving on to the number of digits in the tens place we have 5 and 4. So while adding 5 and 4 we get 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Now moving on to the hundreds place we have 8 and 1. So we need to add 8 and 1. So 8 plus 1 gives you 9. Now finally moving on to the thousands place we have 5 and 2. So 5 plus 2 gives you Seven. And here, when you add 5854 plus 2144, we get the answer 7998. And today's topic is Mixed Problem Solving. Here is a question. Analyze the question and check the ones that are right and find the correct answers for the one that are wrong. Use addition or subtraction. In an airport, there are 14 yellow aeroplanes and 25 blue aeroplanes. So, how many aeroplanes are there in all? First and foremost, you need to analyze the question and understand the information being given in the question. So, the information given are there are 14 yellow aeroplanes and 25 blue aeroplanes. And our question is, how many aeroplanes are there in all? If you see the keyword in all, you need to add. So, by arranging the numbers in the place value chart, we get 14 plus 25. We need to add 14 and 25 by beginning with the number of digits in the one space we have 4 and 5 so 4 plus 5 gives you 9 then moving on to the tens place we have 1 and 2 so 1 plus 2 gives you 3 so we get an answer 39 so there are 39 aeroplanes in all at the airport have we all clear with this question children Moving on to the question here, they have given us the answer 39 aeroplanes so as the given information is right we need to put a tick. Moving on to the next question, there are 59 ants on a log of wood in a river and 31 ants fell in the river. How many ants are left on the log of wood is your question. So first we need to analyze the information. There are 59 ants on a log of wood and 
31 ants fell in the river and the question is how many ants are left on the log of wood so we have a keyword left so we need to subtract we are going to subtract 31 from 59 first we are going to begin with the number of digits in the ones place we have 9 and 1 9 minus 1 gives you 8 moving on to the tens place we have 5 and 3 so 5 minus 3 gives you 2 so we get an answer 28 there are 28 ants left on the log of wood is that clear children so keeping this information in mind they have given us the answer 90 ants so the information given here is wrong so you need to put a cross let's recapitulate the concepts that we have learnt in today's class when you see the keywords total sum in all we need to add when you see the keywords left remaining and difference we need to subtract so, before approaching a problem, we need to understand the question and proceed with the problem solving. Is that clear children? Hope you all enjoyed today's class. Thank you children.